Welcome back guys! It's been a while since I've uploaded the last video. I'm sorry for that. Now, I'm going to make this video short and sweet for you. And we are going to talk about poop. <laughs> sorry if I have to return this way, but I think this is really important. So, it's been weeks since my poop hasn't been behaving and I finally figured out what's messing it up. So you might have started your biohacking journey with bulletproof coffee or butter coffee and because of that, probably you're experiencing some unfortunate events like me. So in this story, I'm going to share with you how bulletproof or butter coffee is connected to a messy poop and how to fix it. Stay tuned! Hi, Jonah of Primal Thinker here, and I want to have a little disclaimer here that I'm not a doctor of any sorts. I'm just a girl in the internet trying to connect with us, sharing my own experiences with you. And if you're okay with that, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so I can share my eureka moments with you. Okay, let's keep rolling. So, what's messing your poop? Okay, let's start with Bulletproof Coffee. First, let's break down the difference between Bulletproof Coffee and Butter Coffee. Bulletproof Coffee has these ingredients, Bulletproof Coffee Beans, gas fed Butter, Brain Octane Oil. Bulletproof Coffee Beans is uh, free from mold toxins and they are lab tested so you are sure that there are no toxins in those coffee beans. And this is produced by Dave Asprey's company, the Bulletproof Company and as well as the Brain Octane Oil, that is Pure C8 MCT Oil. I'll explain later what that is. But now let's look at butter coffee. For butter coffee, the coffee beans are just the normal coffee beans. Um, they are not lab tested, so you are not sure if there are toxins, but most probably it contains small toxins. Then second, we have grass-fed butter, same with the Bulletproof Coffee and MCT Oil. Uh, which could be a combination of C8, C10, or C12. Brain Octane Oil, again, is pure C8. So the main difference between Bulletproof Coffee and Butter Coffee is the quality of the coffee beans, if they have toxins or not, and the MCT oil used. Okay, so Bulletproof Coffee uses a higher quality of co coffee beans free from mold toxins. This is very very important because mold toxins cause inflammation, jitters, and anxiety and different people react differently to mold toxins. As for me, I can easily say if the coffee I drank is bad because I'm really sensitive to toxic coffee. Just like yesterday, I met my friend and I had coffee from that coffee shop. Just a brewed coffee, uh, no sugar, no anything. And I had jitters and anxiety after that and I didn't sleep right. But anyway, in my experience, I get this annoying jitters and anxiety and even depression when I drink this bad quality coffee. I also get gassy and I feel weak. In a previous video, if you cannot get hold of your uh, of bulletproof coffee beans, I enumerated um, tips on how to scout for high quality coffee beans. I'll put the link above on tips on how to get the highest quality of coffee beans you can get in your local area. So the next one is the MCT oil. That's the difference. Uh, for bulletproof coffee, it uses brain optin oil. Brain optin oil is actually a subset of the MCT oil family. MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides. And these are usually extracted from coconut oil. The number after the C, the letter C, you know, I keep saying C8, C10, C12, the number after the C um, indicates how long the chain is. The shorter the chain, the lesser your body needs to process it. That means it is easily absorbed by your body so your liver doesn't have to produce a lot of bile which is needed for fat digestion. And thus, this upregulates the production of ketones. Ketones fuels up your brain. So it's a great combination with your coffee to really wake you up in the morning. Brain Octane Oil only contains C8, which means it's superior to normal MCT oil because the normal MCT oil contains the other chains, uh, C10 and C12, which are longer chains. And um, the C8 is readily absorbed by the body the moment you digest it. 
Now let's get to the question, what messed up my poop? When I started my bulletproof journey, and that is after reading this book, I finished it guys. So um, the first step is to make my own bulletproof coffee or for my case, butter coffee, first thing in the morning. I started with one tablespoon of MCT oil, which is a combination of C8, C10, and C12. And during these times, it felt good and like my body is tolerating the MCTs. I even incorporated it with my lunch or dinner and all the cravings are gone because it's really satisfying. It really makes me full. But then I wanted to upgrade, to take it to the next level. And I bought some premium MCT containing only C8, but not the brain octane uh, oil. I can't find some here in the Philippines. So I just bought from a local distributor of pure MCT C8 oil. So I was excited mixing one tablespoon of this pure C8 MCT oil to my morning coffee. But then I observed that my poop is not getting any better according to the bulletproof guide and the bulletproof guide is here uh, that's from the scale of one to seven basically from the from hard to extremely liquid and i'm usually number five six or seven in the spectrum that means that is the bad poop and it all points to either inflammation leaky gut and not enough good bacteria good gut bacteria it makes sense because when i was a kid Every year, I didn't miss a year to be admitted in the hospital because I had chronic asthma and pneumonia when I was still a kid. And of course, I had to take antibiotics for the infection. However, antibiotics kill both the bad and the good bacteria. So all my good gut bacteria died along with the bad gut bacteria. And this really makes sense for me and I figured my gut health is not that strong to handle pure C8 MCTs. Okay, now the question is what's in it for you? Now you know, um, well, probably if you've been a sick kid um, during your childhood and you, you took antibiotics, chances are you need to build your gut health just like me. And now I'm going to give you three tips or three hacks so that you can build your gut health number one is to starve the bad guys the bad gut bacteria guess what bad gut bacteria loves it's sugar yes so cut back on carbohydrates and sugar and see what it does for your inflammation and gut health this has been a really big game changer for me i used to love Wheat, wheat, uh, wheat bread, pizza, and even um, brown rice. But then uh, that caused me inflammation and it gave me muffin tops for days. Yes, so I highly recommend try experimenting, cutting back on this sugar and carbs and see what it does for you. You will, I promise you, you will look better naked. Okay, second, number two, feed the good guys. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Especially cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. But don't miss this. Don't forget to cook your veggies first as they might contain anti-nutrients such as phytates and oxalates. In another video, I have discussed um, how sensitive I am to oxalates from spinach and uh, from five dates from this cruciferous vegetables and the trick is to boil your veggies first and then drain the water so that the anti-nutrients will go away from the vegetables and that did the trick for me so you can try this out. i will put the link above so you can check that out okay and the third one is to take it easy on the mcts you know i never really understood whenever dave asprey says disaster pants talking about the the correct dosage of MCT and now I do his recommendation is to start with one teaspoon first and build up from there but I am stubborn enough to immediately start with one tablespoon which is equivalent to three teaspoons and there you go I have I have had disaster pants and I may have to repeat number one 
and number two which is to starve the bad guys and feed the good guys to build my gut health and make it stronger to handle MCT oils better and better because MCT oils has the greatest benefit makes you feel full and your brain is all fired up when you ingest them so I would want my gut to handle MCT okay so that's all I have for you I hope this has been helpful and remember that your gut health is associated with your brain health and your overall health so take care of your gut and thanks for watching Thanks for watching guys, um, I have just one request from you, please do hit the like button and subscribe if you are enjoying my videos because that is the only way that I know that you are enjoying my videos so that keeps me inspired to create new videos for you. So see you in the next video.